Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to share with you a little discovery that I've made that I've, I probably should have realized long ago and didn't. Doing my left-handed practice, I noticed this. I was doing my kind of meditative kind of headspace practicing, observing, just trying to be open to all of the, the whole experience. And I noticed that I'm really feeling the frets with my fingers when I'm playing the chords, and that's helping me get them in position. Now, right-handed, I don't even think about it. My fingers just go to the right spot all the time. I don't have to think about it. I can play with my eyes closed most of the time unless I'm doing like, you know, big jumps around the fretboard. And I was thinking a bit about how this works and what's going on, and I started noticing when I was playing left-handed that I could feel the frets. So then I started just really being open to the full experience. And this is something I'd like you to start doing because I think it can really help you get your fingers in the perfect position for the chords without having to worry about it too much. You, you need to be focused on it for a little while to build up the awareness. But once you got it, you'll find that it starts working on its own. So to start off with here, I'd like you to put down a C chord and then remove your second and third finger. So you're just left with your first finger there in the first fret of the second string. It'd be a really good idea, I think, to do this along with me so you really understand what I'm talking about. If you're trying to do it later on, it might feel a little weirder and it's not going to be part of your practice routine. So first fingers in the first fret of the second string. In the middle of the fret, your only thing you're going to feel is the string underneath the finger. You might notice that if your finger lays down a bit too flat that you might feel the thinner string underneath the first finger. And if it's up too high, you might even feel a little bit of that third string, although it's more likely in my case to be the fingernail, but it might be the flesh for you. But what I want you to do is slide it forward until you start to feel the fret. And you should start to notice kind of underneath where the string is. So here in between the first string and the second string, you start to notice a little bit of the feeling of the fret. Now at that point, that's just where you start to get the feeling, that's the perfect position for the finger. It shouldn't be on the fret. If you move the first finger so it's like right on top, you'll feel the fret above and below and the string in the middle. In fact, you'll feel the string less probably, but that's not a good position. That'll get you a, a kind of a buzzy muted note. That's the perfect position. And at this position, I can just, only just feel the fret there in between the first and the second string. I can't really feel it above the string, to be honest, like toward the third uh, string. But just, I can just feel it. So if you just even close your eyes and just move your first finger forward slowly until you feel that, it's like it feels like a little lump. It doesn't really feel like a metal fret. It just feels like a change in pressure as to where it is. And that will help you position your finger when you're playing a C chord, that's where it wants to be is where you start to feel that fret. Just experience it a little bit. Try and move the finger around, get used to what it feels like because it'll help you know where your first finger should be. Just slowly slide up till you feel it and that's where, it, and then stop. Slide it up and then stop. Get used to that very subtle feeling of the fret under the fingers. Now try it with the second finger. So where the second finger would be for the C chord, it doesn't really matter what the chord is, we're just picking on C chord because it's interesting. So then same thing again, slide the finger forward until you just feel the fret. And it'll be subtle. It'll be really subtle. There it is. Doing it with your eyes closed is very helpful. So the one thing I've been experimenting with a bit is using it to help me find the right position for the chords. It, you'll find that you probably have the feeling already, if you're placing your fingers well, you will be placing your fingers in the correct spot already. But this kind of training and training up your awareness will help you know expand it over all of the time that you play. It's great for scales and everything. This it isn't just about the fingers. So there we go. Third finger now, just slide it up. I don't feel it as much with the third finger. It's Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> It's funny, I'm, maybe it's because there's thicker calluses on my fingers now for, for the right hand, or maybe it's just because I've done it for so long that it's hard for me to notice. Left-handed, I really notice it a lot more. I think it's probably because the skin's a little thinner, so I've got a little bit more awareness there. But I can definitely, there's the spot. I can just feel the fret just ever so slightly touch the third finger. It's really good. Try it with a D chord. Move to a D chord and then 
just move the first finger. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the nice position. Oh, the second finger is already right on it. There we go. And there's, there's the good spot. So we're talking about a, something that's very subtle here. It's not something that I'd recommend that you practice. It's something that you should experiment with and then just try to observe it when you're practicing, when you're playing anything. It's, again, it's not one of those things that I'm ever conscious of now when I play, and I don't think you should be either. But it's probably going to be helpful to have a period of a few months where you do stay aware of it, where you become focused on this one little thing to really help you develop your finger, much like you would concentrate on your breath when you learn to meditate. But you probably don't want to be doing that forever when you meditate. It's just a, a, a thing to focus on to help you develop your awareness on guitar, Developing that level of awareness in your fingers is going to be very, very helpful, particularly for playing with your eyes closed. Not that you have to play with your eyes closed, but learning to play with your eyes closed is a very nice thing. Kind of gets you, for me, it gets me more absorbed in the music when I'm not focused on stuff, when I'm not looking at things and being distracted. I can give my full attention to the sound that's coming out of the instrument. Nearly always when I record, I'm playing with my eyes closed or just kind of in this little daisy state where they're kind of half open, maybe. So... I'm not sure how to tell you like an exercise to do it. I just want you to spend some time exploring this idea, trying to develop the awareness of the fingers touching the fret when you play your chords, because it's going to really help you a lot. As always, feedback is greatly appreciated. So do let me know in the comments if you're finding this very helpful or if you're finding a little bit of a struggle, I'll do what I can to clarify and make sure that it's perfect for you. If you're over on YouTube, do remember on the website, there are loads of cool features that'll help you on your beginner journey, like my practice assistant. For those of you that are on the website already, well, you probably know about it. I'll look forward to reading your comments on the webpage. Bye-bye.